On the Montana political scene also this week, Libertarian Rick Breckenridge dropped out of the U.S. Senate race and endorsed rival Republican Matt Rosendale. Well, that move drawing absentee votes, MTN's Madeiras Babb clears up the confusion surrounding last minute changes. We have we have so many phone calls that we can't answer the phone, so we've got messages that we have to get. So like this morning before uh, everybody came in, I got I actually retrieved seven voicemails. Gallatin County Clerk and Recorder Charlotte Mills says each day there are numerous absentee voters who call about their ballot. Requesting an absentee and voting an absentee and whether or not they're on the absentee list and how they can get an absentee ballot. Changes can be made last minute in an election like Rick Breckingridge putting his support behind Republican candidate Matt Rosendale. Montana State political science professor David Parker wants to make it clear that Breckingridge's name will not come off the ballot and the votes already cast for him will stand. No one can change your vote. No one can go in there and say you voted for X and that means Y. So if you send an absentee ballot in before a change and let's say somebody drops out of the race, that vote still goes to that person and still reported to that person. The question is, does a ballot change this late in the campaign season impact election results? Parker says no. So whether it changes anything in the election is somewhat immaterial because the ballot has gone out. So a lot of people probably won't, don't even know about what happened with Rick Breckenridge. So if they're intending to vote for Rick Breckenridge, they're probably going to go ahead and vote for Rick Breckenridge, period. Parker added he expects the Montana turnout for this midterm election to be more than ever before. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bab, MTN News. Thanks, Medeiros. Again, polls close at 8 p.m. on Election Day next Tuesday, November 6th.